Hey everyone, Cody here. And today we're gonna to be doing a scrape painting. I've already got a piece of paper taped to an old canvas um, because the canvas was about the size of the paper and with a little bit of extra room. So I used, I'm using a canvas. It's also kind of flat as opposed to like these, <laughs> all these paint bubbles all over my table. Um, I've got it taped down and that is to kind of keep it in place and to give it a little bit of a border so that the paint doesn't just run off the sides. Um, so the colors are dark green, lime, like a lime green, uh, white and pink. The kind of look that I want to go for today is kind of like a floral look. So we're going to do like a green, like the green on the bottom as if those are like the leaves. And then we're going to do white and pink as if it was like an oleander, uh, which comes in like white or pink or even, you know, carnations or whatever. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. And <clears throat> so we're going to start with our lime green because we're going to do our background with this color. And the reason I'm doing the lime green as the background is really just to kind of stand out against uh, the rest of the colors. And because if it gets covered up, that's great. I don't really care if it gets covered up. But if it doesn't, and there's little pockets of the background showing, uh, we've got, you know, at least kind of a color that's going to give it a little bit of pop. So that's what we're doing here. So I'm going to spread our paint out. And we're going to take some of the paint some of the areas with a lot of paint. We're gonna go over these areas here. And we're just gonna kinda brush it on just to make sure that it's all covered. And we kinda want the paint to flow this direction when we scrape. I almost always, I usually scrape from left to right. Not always, but usually, just cause I mean, we read left to right. So I don't know, it just feels natural. So we're gonna put that paintbrush in water so it doesn't get ruined. And we're gonna set our green aside. So we're done with that green for now. So the tool that we're gonna be using to scrape today is the corrugated plastic. We're gonna try something a little different. Instead of putting it directly on the canvas, we're gonna to try to put on the edge of the corrugated plastic so that we can kind of, uh, you know, maybe get that design on there. It looks like there's some paint uh, stuck to it, so. Uh, let's see if I can get that out. Maybe not. I'll probably ruin it. Didn't, uh, I didn't realize that was on there. I apologize. And it does not look like it's going to come off. So I may just use it and it'll probably kind of give it a, uh, a design. If we can't use it, we can't use it. We'll move on to something else. But you know what? Let's just go ahead and do it for the name of science. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it on the edge of the little scraping tool here, our plastic. So we're just gonna take this paint, we're gonna run along the edge to kind of load the paint up on the tool. And then we're gonna take it. And it looks like there's already a bristle or something in there. Of course, why not? And then we're gonna go ahead and bring it across our surface and see where it gets us. Okay, so already <laughs> it's gouging the paint, and I don't I don't like that obviously because that's just going to leave a bunch of gouges, and every time we go over it, that's not going to work. So this isn't going to work. This piece I'm actually going to throw away uh, because it's just going to keep doing that over and over again. Um, I do have some other pieces here uh, of similar size, and I even have some scrapers like I've got. Uh, you know, these pallet scrapers, which we could try that um, just to kind of see where it gets us. So what, why don't we go ahead and try it? So we'll, again, we're going to try this again. I'm going to put the, the paint on the edge of the scraper here. Just a little bit extra. And we're going to, we're going to go over the parts that we already did and see. And we're going to tilt it almost flat, not quite flat, but almost flat because we we want to try to pull that paint out as much as possible. Okay. I'm going to pass over it one more time and I'm, I'm really going to push into the 
painting to try to get this to go as far as we can get it. Okay, we did get a little bit more uh, pull out of that, so that's good. That's that's okay. We want kind of the breakup. Um, I'm okay with that. So we're going to go ahead and load it up one more time. Just put the paint on there. And you could do the same thing with acrylic. Um, I may use these for an acrylic painting like this in the future. <clears throat> a little bit fell off, but that's okay. So we're going to put it on the edge. We're going to push down pretty hard. And we're going to pull that through. You can see it's already breaking up. And again, this is that gouging I was talking about. But we're going to try to fix that. For now, what we want to do is we just want to try to pull this paint out as far as it'll go. So we're going to go over it one more time. Okay, so now for this part, I'm just going to pull this over. Yeah, unfortunately, it's going to keep doing that because of the different layers of paint. What we'll, what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and just finish the video and see if we can work with the gouges. Um, if not, then we'll kind of know for the future. You could kind of keep it as like a design thing if, if you're interested in that. It kind of bothers me, so I don't, I don't really like having it in here. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and move on to white. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some white on there, and that is actually going to put the white into the, uh, the a little bit of green gun on this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour it on here as opposed to... Uh, just continuously dipping it because a little bit of green got in there. And so we're going to put it on the end again. We're going to go behind the paint at the end. And we're going to pull it through. Okay. So we got a decent amount of coverage. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just put some more white on there. A decent amount. <clears throat> and I think that's good. So we're gonna go ahead and put it on the edge. And I think I'll kind of go up a little bit and I'm gonna let some of that paint kind of run off. So I'm gonna give it a second to kind of catch up and then we'll go ahead and pull it. And I am pushing pretty hard on it. Almost flat with the scraper. Okay. All right. So we did get a decent pull off of that. And I don't want to go over it too many times. I've talked about it many, many times. If you just keep going over it and over and over it, you start to get that gray effect. And we don't want that. We don't want these colors to turn muddy. We want to keep them as clean as possible. So we're going to go ahead and move into our final color here. We're going to move into our pink. And we're going to do the same thing uh, with the pink. I'm going to give it a stir. It's a little stiff. Uh, but I don't think I have any water. Oh, I do actually have a little bit of water. So I'm just going to add just a tiny bit just to kind of uh, get it to move a little bit. So we're gonna give that a good stir so that it's nice and smooth. Okay, and now that we've got it on there, we're gonna go ahead and put it on our scraper here. a decent amount. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and do the same thing that we did. Uh, put it to the edge, let some of that paint kind of roll down, and pull it through. Now I'm going to apply a little bit of extra weight to the ends because a lot of the weight is being pulled through just the middle. And that actually helped immensely. Look at how even it is now. Now there's gaps at the bottom. That's fine. Well, I already expected there to be some. So we're fine. We're good with that. We're going to do it again because I actually that actually turned out better than I was hoping. So we're going to add some more pink to it. to 
to the edge, go to the edge, and then fill in the middle. And just a little bit more, and I think we're good there. Okay, so now we're gonna flip it over, and we're gonna pull some of the paint that was already here, so this little puddle here, and we're gonna put it flat, and we're gonna really kind of pull these paints through. And I'll go ahead and put a little bit of pressure on there. And done. Okay. I, it turned out better than I thought, actually. Um, so now the paint is kind of pooling, it's kind of drying. I really don't want to mess with it. Usually I will start taking the tape off. However, if I do that, some of the paint might run together. So it's kind of like a wash. Um, although I think it's probably warped as much as it can. So um, I, I think I'm going to go ahead and leave the tape on for now and then pull it off once it's uh, a little drier. So the painting actually turned out better than I hoped. Um, we've got the, you know, the lime green coming through, which we expected. Actually, let me go ahead and take this glove off. And luckily I had gloves before the whole, you know, COVID-19 thing happened and you know, you, you almost can't get like gloves or, or any supplies. It's crazy out there. Um, so luckily I have some. Anyway, just speaking on that note, just, just speaking to how hectic it is out there. Anyway, so here's the final piece. So let's go ahead and let's take a snapshot here. All right, I believe it took one. So here we go. We've got, uh, got the lime green in the background, perfectly fine. Uh, cause then we got our darker, you can see more of the darker green kind of up here, right there and kind of on the side over here and over here. Um, and then we've got the white under layer and then a lot of the pink. And I, I kind of like these little lines here, the little separation of where the pressure was kind of different on the scraper. And actually those little gouges, uh, we, we kind of covered them up pretty well. So I'm actually not too disappointed with this piece. It actually turned out better than I hoped. So, and while it doesn't exactly remind me of flowers, the color scheme kind of does. And I'm ultimately pretty happy with the way that turned out. So not too bad. Unfortunately, we had to throw a little piece of corrugated plastic away, but I think we'll live. Uh, scraper actually turned out pretty good. So yeah, I mean, that's it, guys. I will catch you in another one. Hopefully you liked the video. If you did, let me know. If you didn't, that's fine. Let me know. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So take care. God bless. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.